Hey, Spuddies, Potato Big Whiskey here, and welcome to Hexarchy. Uh, Hexarchy is a kind of, what I would call is a lunch break for Rex game. It's fun, it's interesting, and it doesn't take that long to play. I am a investor in this game, so do keep in mind that I do have a bit of a conflict in interest in telling you the truth, so transparency is important. Um, part of this, but I'm not going to do a campaign. I think I'm just going to do a, a skirmish so I can kind of show off, but it's a, it's a pretty cool, interesting game. It's been a while since I played it because I kind of wanted to give it a little bit of time to, uh, to soak. I'm just going to go ahead and play it as it was intended to be played. Whatever these default settings are, that's what we're going to play. But yeah, I, I would go as far as to say Hexarchy is a, ooh, I guess it's like somewhere between something like the Battle of Polytopia and like a full 4X game. It's kind of like a bridge between those two gaps. Um, it is a super interesting game. So it looks like we're gonna be playing as China. We get plus one production from mines, or plus one hammer, from mines, workshops, forge, lumber mills, and warehouses, and our shuffle cost is reduced to one. I don't exactly know what our shuffle cost is, so there's some mechanics in here that I'm still learning. Okay, so this is our opening hand, and we can found a capital city. So it's a kind of deck building card game, 4x. So for example, I can play the found the capital city thing and the game will recommend various locations. So I could settle over here or I could settle over here. I'm going to settle on this southern one. I like it. All right. And then we captured this um, holy site here, which produces, I think there's a way to show these resources. Um, it produces one happiness, one culture and five victory points. So that's nice. Five victory points. And I believe if we get to 100 victory points, the game is over. So we can draw three cards at the cost of one hammer. So think of hammers are like the production that you spend to play most of your cards. I could play a scout or a warrior. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this warrior and I'm going to burn it because it's not a particularly good unit and I don't need a warrior early. And I'm also going to store this strength card. Actually, well, I'll keep the strength card because strength card is actually pretty good. It's a 25% boost. I don't need it right now, though. I'm going to organize labor to draw three cards. This is a China ability. So it'll cost me one hammer. Ba -ba boom and I'll get three cards. Firewood is a card that you're supposed to burn. I could get mining right now or I could immediately open with a settler. Well, I can't actually immediately open with a settler because I don't have the thing, but I can't store the settler in my storehouse and use it next turn, which I think I will probably do. Let's make ourselves a scout. Well, let's research mining first and then I could build a warehouse, which would give me plus three. Ooh, I like this. Okay, so I'm going to go for the warehouse because I'm playing China and those other two cards will go into my discard pile. So you can see here is my discard pile. The organized labor, masonry and the mine are in there. Then I will use this to build the warehouse. Now, normally in a city, you can only build one thing per turn, but because I'll have the warehouse, I'll be able to build two things per turn and I'll also be able to store three more resources. Your resources are stored over here. Resources include cards. So I'll build the warehouse, boom. Then I can play the scout in here and now the city can no longer do anything else, right? Uh, unit has spawned this turn. It can't move this turn. And that's honestly a really damn good opening turn. Is there anything I want to keep? I think it would be good to keep the firewood to burn it. What's in my possible draw pile? There's a way to check. I could draw cards. I think I'm going to shuffle my crappy cards or the cards I just played into my draw hand. And I'm just going to end my turn. So the city grew to two population, which means we should be able to play the settler. And we drew another firewood that we can, well, this is the firewood that we intend to burn. So we're going to take this firewood and we'll burn it because you get two hammers and a science, which allows you to research your technology. Fishing would be a pretty good tech for us to pick up because we do have a tile that's working a fish. Also, it would be good to get a hunting camp or something like that. I think I will play a fishing. I could get the fishing hut or I could get the hunter gatherers or astronomy. I think I'm going to go for the fishing hut. I will play a fishing hut on this tile right here, and that'll get me plus one food from this tile, which my population is working. If I click on the city of Beijing, there's a way for me to do this. I think, anyway, you can kind of see, like I can pick up this pop and move him, but they seem to be working pretty reasonable things. And plus one food in that tile is good. I'm going to move my settler, I think to there to explore. There's Memphis. So there's an Egyptian city. I'm going to immediately pop out a settler, lowering the population of the city. But here's the thing. More cities means more, more good things. I could, in theory, shuffle again. And that is kind of like the China abilities to, to shuffle things. It would be nice to keep woodworking. I'm going to store this charge card because I intend to burn it. Because I intend to play a highly eco, eco game where I don't really build many units or do much with units. The city has grown population again. We love to see that. And we captured a tile. Uh, we drew a whole bunch of cards. Excellent. We got organized labor again. I'm going to burn charge. Ooh, 
Boom. Which will get me plus two hammers and a science that I can then use on something like woodworking. Or animal husbandry would honestly be fantastic here. Because that would get me a pasture. And the pasture I can place on these cows. Boom. And now these cows produce two food for the city plus a food resource that I can actually sell on the open market. So I'm going to move uh, my guy from this fishing tile over to here. This will cost a production, boop, but this is, I think, just a straight up improvement for my empire. I am going to also organize my labor so that I can draw more cards. I could settle over here. It would be nice. They do recommend I settle over here instead. And I don't hate these locations for settling. It's a nice little coastal thing. I'll be able to do interesting stuff there. I think I would like to build a scout. Strength is really good. I need something to burn. I think I'm going to get a scout. I have two hammers left. So I think getting woodworking and getting an archer might not be bad. These are quite good at defending. I'll store him because I would like to get an archer next turn. And then I'll shuffle my stuff in. This scout is able to move quite far. So I'm going to go onto this tribal village thing and pick up a bonus. Oh, very nice, actually, which means I can play masonry. And it's not a bad mood, uh, not a bad move to pick up something like road. So I'm going to grab road and I'll store it and I will sell my food because you can only store six things and that includes items and stuff. And I'll end my turn. Beijing is now three population. We love to see that. We've got settlers, organized labor. We got all the good cards, actually. The first things first is we definitely want to build a road to here. But I think the second, well, the very, very first thing we want to do is actually settle this city. I do like the idea of working culture in here. I think that's a totally reasonable thing to do. I'm going to move a scout to there, onto the hill. There's Paris. I'm going to move a scout to here, onto the hill. I am going to make myself another settler. I think I'm going to burn scouts now because I don't need any more scouts. So we'll burn that for the production and the science. I'll do an organized labor to get the money. We have the firewood. I'm going to store the firewood to burn it next turn. I'm going to insert wood food into Shanghai so that the city will grow next turn. I'm going to build a road um, because there's a maintenance cost to these cities. And by building roads between them, you eliminate that maintenance cost. So this would cost four, this would cost two. I'm gonna go for the two, boom. So now there's a road between these two cities, which should, I believe, lower the um, maintenance cost. I've still got two production to play around with. I'm gonna go ahead and play agriculture, which is a tech. Farms are nice, so I'll, yeah, maybe not. I'll play hunter-gatherers. What is this? This is a economic civic. Forage is really handy. It lets you get special, Abilities. I think I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go for agriculture. Winery and cultivate is nice. And I'm going to pick up a farm. I'm going to store the farm for next turn. Um, I'll store the archer again because I can't afford him this turn. Ooh, you know what I could do? Hold on. Let me get the archer out because I could burn hunter gatherers again because I don't really care about that. And then I could build a farm. Now, there's a cool idea. What if I placed a farm right there and I picked this guy up and put him on the farm? That's a five food tile, so I'll be able to grow Shanghai pretty quick and faster grow a city, the better. I'll store these two cards over there and we'll go to the next turn. Population growth, we love to see it. Border growth as well. Okay, nice. I like this range of cards. I'm going to immediately burn the firewood. I've got a bunch of stuff in stock. I will research writing. I have the science in store to pay for this. So you could pay two hammers or a science. That's why we want to burn cards. And then I'm going to grab the library and I will play the library in Beijing to get that plus one science per turn. Then I'm going to snake over to here. I guess I could also do this hill. I'll sneak onto the hill and see if I can't settle here. I'm going to recruit an archer in Shanghai. I can also play astronomy here, which would get me a harbor. Harbors are fantastic. Uh, you immediately get bonus resources and it adds one to two merchant resources every turn, but it also gives you plus two gold per turn, which is really powerful. Gold can be used to draw cards. So I think I'm going to play this in Shanghai. So I don't know why the city has unrest. That's something I just don't fully understand. I can't afford a fishing hut. I could research construction. I need to clear out some of this. I've got a 60% chance to get a victory point if I put these luxuries into my capital. So I guess I will. Those victory points do add up. I've got a bunch of food. I could force grow Shanghai, which I will. I'll force grow Beijing as well. The rest of this I'll sell for cash. We're now officially making a bunch of money, which is nice. And I'll store the fishing hut for next turn because it's actually a good card. And then I'm going to scoot over here with my shout, scout. And I'll scoot over here with my other scout. I've got a bunch of money in the bank. I could draw cards. I don't think I want to. I think I'll wait until next turn to draw. But yeah, money is really important as um, China. 
because we very much so shuffle and draw, shuffle and draw, and that's the kind of economy we want to build, which is why I'm happy to build the harbor, because it gives you plus two gold per turn. Okay. Thanks. Shanghai is growing, but it's also unhappy. Nice, we're drawing six cards. Love that. Let's go ahead and settle this city. Qian, go ahead and get me marble. Need that marble. Okay. Ooh, lumber mills. Could build a lumber mill on this hill tile. Love that. Let's move you to there. That's a four production tile, which is huge for the city of Jean. I'm going to feed the city a little, like so, to keep it nice and happy. I would like to build another pasture. What are you? I don't quite own the right stuff here. I would also love to get another warehouse in Shanghai. I can get construction. Ooh, the granary is super good for building up cities. Let's burn that firewood. Boom. Then we can place the granary in Beijing, which is going to be a great place to have that. Mobilize is handy, but I don't know if it like really fits with my build. I only have one hammer left. I could burn this and start drawing cards. Could play architecture, get my Jugo Nu, which means I don't need to have the archers anymore, which means I can burn archers. Depends on if I want to go straight for something like the forge next turn. The forge is super good for my capital, so I'm going to kind of push in that direction. I don't think I care about the pasture, so I will keep this. I'm going to draw another card because I do have it. Mm. Pyramids would be nice. I'm going to store that. I think I'm just going to end my turn here and see what happens. So I've got 13 production next turn, which is kind of insane. And once I play the forge, uh, maybe I'll draw another card. Oof, hanging gardens. Draw another. There's a harbor. Now that's perfect. I can play the harbor in my capital and increase my gold income and get some luxury resources to keep these cities a little bit happier. All right. Scout, go explore. I would say we're in like an interesting position. Very cool. It's a, it's a cool little game. That's why I, I quite like it. It has a kind of crunchy texture to the gameplay. A unit still needs orders. Ah, I want you in Jan fortified. That's where I'm going to put you. Okay, so it looks like this settler just got murked by a warrior. And he's doing a charge, but he got killed by the archer. Archers are good on defense from what I remember. Not amazing on offense, though. Okay, we got some good options here. We can go for the Great Lighthouse, which would give us plus one gold for every water hex worked within two tiles. Horseback riding mines. Mines would let me gather that marble. That does seem quite important. I definitely need the forge in my capital because that's an insane amount of production. It's three production per turn. I can also have three people working in the capital, which is um, quite powerful. I guess we can get another fishing hut, even though the city is not growing right now. I could build the pyramids, and I do like that idea because it gathers all the resources in the nearby area. It also gives me victory points. So I could draw cards to look for something to burn. I definitely don't want to burn roads. I'm going to save that because I would like to play it. I will sell some of this. Can I buy? I could buy some silver. I'll make you a little bit happier. Let's keep drawing cards. Oof, okay. Agrarian society. I need to burn something. Axeman's honestly a fine burn, so we will do that. Got the hammers now. Removes food yields, produces wine. This is an improvement. This could be a great way for us to get luxuries. So I'm going to take the winery and store it. I'll research horseback riding and then I'll grab maneuvers and store that to burn it. I'll store road because I want to build roads and I'll store the mine because I want to build a mine. Don't care so much for the great lighthouse, but I could build it pretty easily. And I do kind of, well, I don't necessarily need to build a farm because I want to build luxury stuff first. I'll pull another card. All right, metalworking. It's fine. All right, let's go ahead and end the turn. I definitely need to burn more of my deck. Um, we're on turn seven, so we're quite a bit through the game right now. Oh, nice, a free archer. That's actually kind of bad because he's like super far away, meaning he's costing me lots of maintenance. This archer, I'm going to tell to fortify because I believe if a unit is fortified, they exert his own control and they become stronger every turn. Yeah, so now he has 55% defense. Ooh, don't like this. Need to build a unit in Beijing. And I also need to improve the happiness in there. So first things first is we need to draw a lot of cards until we have an archer. Max cards in hand, so I need to start burning some stuff. Uh, I'm going to burn maneuvers. Any of these give me a unit that I can use is the real question here. Not really. I'm going to play the mine and then try to draw another card. There's God King. It's a government civic at least. I'll take Divine Decree and I'll play it in the palace. That'll make the city happier. And then I'll draw another card. There's a settler, which is kind of what I want, but not exactly. I can play it for food at least. Keep drawing. Okay, what's the cheapest thing that I can play here? It's probably the granary. I'll play it in Shanghai. Keep drawing. I'll play a warehouse in Xi'an. I'll play organized labor and then I'll shuffle. I'll play the archer in my capital. Okay, we managed to get a unit in the capital to defend it. It was close, but we did it. I don't know what redraw means. Okay, we're in a weird position right now. I'm going to play the plus 25% strength promotion on my archer to make him a six combat strength unit, which means he should win this, the fight with that other guy. Libraries are really nice. I'm going to save that for next turn. 
I'm going to research tactics purely because I can burn the cards that come here. And then I can play a winery somewhere. I'm going to play a winery in Jian, but that means I'm going to have to manually feed this city. And the idea here is that this winery will produce luxuries for the city and for my empire. Perfect. Do I want to store any of these cards? I definitely want to store the road. Lumber mill is a store as well. I don't necessarily think I care about the Great Lighthouse, so I'm just going to let all of these bleed out of my hand and see what we draw next. Ooh, I can claim territory with this archer over here. Um, he is costing me six gold per turn, so I do need to, like, get him back home. But claiming, you get, you get one victory point for every two hexes you have, so it is good to claim hexes. Egypt built the Great Lighthouse. He also divine favored his unit. Ouch. I'm going to need another unit in here. All right, we've got 18 production, which is huge. Let's organize labor. I may have deleted too many of my units. It's fine. I'll lumber mill this. We get the firewood. We can immediately burn that firewood. Let's draw. Super do not need a settler right now, but I'm willing to do what it takes. Keep drawing. I will play cultivate on this winery. Boom. Because that will add um, an extra luxury to that. Hopefully feeding Jian slightly better. Whew. All right, I need to burn some cards. I can sell some science. Horses are available for purchase. I'll move another archer to the capital. Go ahead and ranged attack this guy. Even if it's only two damage that you do, that's fine. It buys me time. I need to draw so many cards. I need the Chukonu or the Horseman. I can't draw anymore. I would love to build a Great Wall, and I could theory and build, could in theory build it. But I think I have to... What does redraw do? Oh, discard your hand and redraw for four? Oh, wow, yeah, boom, done. Okay, this is perfect. Because if I buy a horse off the market, I can play a horseman here. And now we're now we're solid gold. We're fine. Um, Divine Decree is fantastic for the capital because it just increases the happiness and gold that's produced there. There's a way to show the palace. Yeah, you can see it's there just cranking out a bunch of extra stuff. Let's get the harbor. That'll make Jeanne happier because it'll produce... Oh, also we got iron. That's sick. Uh, let's do metalworking. Oh, amazing. We could make a spearman or a swordsman. I think we'll make the swordsman. I'm going to deploy him in Beijing. All of my cities have warehouses, but there is a city being spawned next turn that doesn't. And I would like to get the cow here. I'm going to move a worker from a crappy coastal tile to a good pasture tile. I'm out of gold. I could sell things. I'm going to force grow the capital, I guess, because that's fun. And then I'm just going to leave things as they are. Well, I still have production. I think I should sell a marble. Ooh, no. I'll sell a cow. Don't have a cow, man, to draw a card. Divine favor. Plus three strength and no maintenance for so many turns. I'll do that on the horseman. Probably should have done it on the archer over here, honestly, but it's too late now. I still have two hammers. Let's sell off two marble. We'll draw another card. Double time. I'm just going to burn that. Sell off more marble. Draw another card. There's the ju Jugonu. But I can't afford to, so I'll just draw another card. Draw, draw, draw. Great wall. I thought I burnt that. Crazy. I could burn the great wall and then build a Jugonu. Perfect. Uh, let's end the turn. Three units still need orders. I guess I haven't fully explored with these guys. Ah, my horseman is ready to attack, apparently. All right, kill that archer. Get him out of here. Perfect. And then we'll use you to get rid of him. Plus one happiness. Nice. Uh, so right now, I think I'm winning. Just barely. And we should consider now going on the offensive if we want. So now we're pulling in spare luxuries from the cities. It's fantastic. All right, we got feudalism, all sorts of stuff coming through. I'm going to settle a city right here and to claim these tiles. I'm going to place a warehouse in Guangzhou. I'm going to build a spearman. Well, I, I can't this turn because it needs two population. So how, is it possible to heal? I don't remember if units can actually heal. I'm going to pop you back here on the off chance that I can heal you. I'm going to take this swordsman and try to attack this. And I stole this catapult now, which is huge. I'm going to move forward with the rest of our army. You fortify in the city. Perfect. I guess I'll make a spearman in, in Beijing. This will get me culture, which will spread my borders, and it'll also get me science, which I can sell or turn into actual research. I think divine favor on this guy is insane, because now I can ranged attack this guy and get him killed. Wouldn't mind a farm on this tile. We'll go for it. Who does this belong to? Can't quite tell. Ah, you can't reach that farm over there. That's okay. Well, then continue to work there, and then you get on that farm so you can grow. I'll get a library in Shanghai, and I'll draw some cards. Another horseman. No horses to buy, so I'm just going to burn that card, as awesome as it is. I'm going to save feudalism because I think I can research it next turn. We'll just keep drawing. Why is nobody working the good fishing hut tiles? I guess I will just pop down a fishing hut because it, it does technically improve the tile, even though it's not very good. Pathfinder, I'm burning. Skirmisher, I should add to the swordsman. Harbor is a keeper, although none of my cities have it right now. I'm out of draws, so... I think we could just go ahead and end our turn. I've done everything that I can, although a couple of units have orders. 
these scouts. I can yoink this catapult and do some fun stuff with it. It's kind of hilarious. Like, papa! <laughs> I stole his catapult and then I shot him with it. Um, I will keep... No, I don't need to keep the harbor. It's fine. All right, they killed me. Not a big deal because I think I can shoot them again, right? Once all my resources come in. All right. Uh, yeah, look at that. My people love me. Turn 11, I got half the points I need. We're not even halfway of the turns. Right, attack this. Be annoying. Good job. Heliopolis, I would like to grab. Let's see if we can take the city because it is valuable. I'm going to produce a settler in Beijing and move a spearman forward. Ooh, the jeweler would allow me to produce gold. Two marble, which I can't afford. So I think a jeweler in Beijing is nice. Divine decree for even more happiness in the capital, which will lead to we love you. Um, if you overfill food, the city will grow. If you overfill on luxury, you have a chance to gain victory points, um, which is something that I really enjoy. I do think we should get this marble improved and I'm going to move your production onto that because that is a sick as hell tile. We're up to 26 production per turn. Uh, we do have the stuff to research feudalism. We could go for the Himage Castle. Adds a hammer and gold yield but removes food from a hex. Workshops are good. Boom. Look at this tile. Two gold and four production. Loving it. Don't care about forts. Let's draw another card. 25% strength is actually fantastic. I'm going to play that on my spearman here. I think I will recruit another sword over in Guangzhou. Go ahead and harvest. Shoot. Every time you shoot, we get like happiness, which is nice. Potential for victory points. Don't think I need a fort, so I'm going to burn it because I'm going on the offensive. Mathematics, I can research. And I could build Chichen Itza. And it does highlight where it affects. So I'm going to build Chichen Itza right there. Ooh, pasture card. Lock that in. Sell some stuff for some gold. We'll do a shuffle. See if we can't claim some tiles because they are worth victory points. It's all about winning. There is like, you know, uh, a tech tree and you can see who built what and where your stuff is. And we're getting up there in terms of tech tree. Owie, did some damage to me. Nice. We love the King Day of victory points. City grew and we got two culture out of it. So we're expanding. My luxuries and food is getting scooped up. Nice. Uh, we'll immediately play organized labor. Divine decree is amazing. Keeping the capital city even happier. Let's ranged attack the city. Uh, swordsman, take Heliopolis. Let's move in on Memphis. So we've got one city down. I think it would be nice to settle right here. I will build another settler because I have a ton of food. I can also get a harbor now. Well, I'm actually, I will be able to build that harbor next turn and harbors are great, so I'll save that. I can play this plus strength card on this swordsman, so I will. I don't have anything I need to build a pasture on. So I think I can now actually burn pastures. Yeah. The only other valid thing over here is like this, but I think I can just burn pastures. I've built all the ones I can. I'm also going to burn Skirmisher. Remember, burning your deck is important because it, it, it lowers the number of cards you can draw. And I'm just going to burn the firewood. I'll save that for next turn. Uh, Mysticism, I think, is a good pickup here. Temples are really good. I can play a temple in the capital. It's probably not a bad idea to get a Chuko New over there. Do I want to keep drawing cards? I've got 22 production. I think I should keep drawing. I do like the Himeji Castle. Let's pop it right there. So we'll always draw a military. Our first card will always be a military unit that costs 20% of its strength in gold, meaning we'll have a cheap, um, cheap military. We can go for engineering. Crossbowman is fantastic. Ooh, military engineer is really good. Let's do that. I'm going to play that on this archer. And then we're going to move him to there. And he built a road all the way along, which is fantastic, meaning when I settle this, it'll be lowered in maintenance. Perfect. We have one hammer left, so I don't think we need to use that for anything. You can go there and extract. I guess you could shoot this city. There's no reason not to. There's no reason not to shoot here as well. I've only got one hammer left. So I think we can end our turn. See, so yeah, it's like a really fun, kind of quirky deck building, interesting like strategy game with like a little bit of stuff. It's also really fun in multiplayer. Okay, nice. Luxuries have come through. City population growth has come through. All that good stuff. We're up to 66 points out of 100. And we should see it oh, up to 69 points. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all those hammers. China's awesome, dude, for hammers. Now, we can pillage, we can fortify, or we can claim. We're going to claim this city. Boom. The city's going to go into famine unless I give it some food. So I will give it the food. Really lacking and slacking on luxuries. I'm going to go ahead and burn this card. I am going to build a swordsman. This catapult. Um, let's attack the city. Boom. All right, we got everyone into the city. We don't need to claim these tiles because we will claim them when we actually take the city. You're my engineer, so go to Heliopolis. Boom. You move this way. You're settling. Badoom. Let's get you a harbor. We're also going to cultivate this vineyard because we need the luxuries from it. And I really need to draw that vineyard thing again. I'll play warehouse in Heliopolis. Don't need catapults. I'm going to burn them. Do have the science for logistics. 
Military dictatorship could be an interesting choice here. Barracks are super good because units start mobilized. I'm going to go for military dictatorship. Play this to change my government. We lose the fine decree and we can get the Arc de Triomphe, which gives you a victory point for every enemy unit you've killed. So boom, there's the Arc de Triomphe and that's going to get us closer to our victory. I do have 29 gold in the bank and 26 production in the bank, so I can draw cards all day long. Forge is fantastic. Let's drop a forge in Shanghai. We're now up to 39 production. There's a granary. Keep just pumping food into places. Okay, keep drawing. A jeweler is amazing. That's going to be even more luxuries. I'll pop that into Shanghai. Draw a card. We got another farm. I think it's good to put a little farm here. Keep drawing. Library is excellent. That's plus one science per turn, as well as a little bit of culture. Archers. I think I can burn archers now. We don't need those. Fishing huts are still great. They're okay, but we don't actually have the, the fishing resources. So I don't know if they're as good as they should be. They're not bad. I'll use them. Knights, I think, are better than horsemen. A little bit hard to get the resources for, though. There's a road. I don't need the road card anymore now that I have the military engineer bonus. Generates two additional happiness per citizen working the city hex. So this is a great way to get happiness in, like, for example, Beijing. And it has plus six happiness per turn. Finally, we got a workshop. I don't think I need many more workshops. I did get rid of my pasture, so I can't just pass. I can't just workshop over this horse tile. Make it a super powerful production tile. We're down to our last little bit of production. I think a mine wouldn't be bad. Mine tiles are just powerful. Um, oh, there's the winery. Okay, I need to store that winery. Ooh, I do like Vanguard. Oh, not enough to play it. Let's save Vanguard. I don't think I need Spearmen anymore. I will save the Knight too. They're quite good. And then I'm just going to let this turn burn through. I could, in theory, sell some of my food to keep drawing, but I don't think I need to. Ah, I've got a few units that need orders. Keep attacking Orleans. Orleans. This settler needs an order. It's probably settle here. This catapult, hilariously, is still blasting Mecca, which I think is absolutely amazing. <laughs> okay, this is fantastic. We now have up to eight luxuries stored in our in our in our storage. It's amazing. And then they get distributed to the cities that need the most. All right, perfect. Oh wow, yeah, we control 50 hexes. We just got a ton of stuff. Let's go ahead and yoink this city so i think we just won the game actually with that claim we just have to hit the end turn button but it's kind of fun to see how far over this can we go like for example there is this vanguard card what if i were to play it on this 11 attack horseman and move him over here then he hits that city and smashes it okay good job capturing let's get these guys up and at them. boom there's another city get in there start claiming tiles this swordsman well i want to move the archer first actually the archer is the one with the ability to make roads and that'll let the swordsman move further. I'm going to burn the strength card. Um, I do like the expeditionary force card on this horseman, even though it doesn't activate right now. Ooh, the great library is a fun card. Pop it right there. Boom. Great library uh, grants you any technology that has been researched by over a third of the civilizations in the game. Pretty cool. Um, lots of victory points. Um, I'll build myself another venery and now I can get crossbows, which is fun. Could be good to get warehouses. Warehouses are always good. Keep drawing cards. Oh, not your damn. Damn, Natra. Plus two happiness in all cities. Oh, chef's kiss. Forced march. Don't care. Lumber mills are fantastic. Lumber mills are so good. I'm really glad they buffed them. Burn that firewood and keep drawing. Paganism. Religion. Okay, don't care about that. Just burn it. Jeweler is amazing. I do need to get a pair of iron, however, to play it. I'll put one in Jian. Ooh, military engineer. Don't mind if I do. Keep drawing cards. Fishing hut. A hey, fishing hut. Oh, a settler. Well, I don't think I need to settle any more cities. Keep getting the granaries. You go new. Right now, I'm just trying to farm extra points if I can, because I've already won. Let's sell some food and keep drawing cards. Ooh, organized labor. Boom. Perfect. We love the harbor. It's one of my favorites. Cultivate. I need a hammer. <gasps> I'm going to burn a library to cultivate my win vineyard. Or should I say win yard? Okay, I'm pretty happy with that turn. Let's go ahead and end. See what the game does. Pew, 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 pew. Victory has been achieved. So I hope you can kind of see what Hexarchy is about. It's a, it's a fun, weird, it's weird. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you the game isn't weird because it absolutely is weird. But it is, I think it's absolutely worth you checking out. 
Um, and I'm not just saying that because I'm invested in the game and I have a financial benefit from the game doing well. The game has been out and I haven't covered it. And I'm kind of hoping that that proves to you that I'm not incentivized to lie to you about this game. I think this game is cool. When I originally covered it during its Kickstarter, I was a big help to the game getting kickstarted. And I think I was also me bringing attention to the game, helped it get picked up by the publisher. And I also invested in the game. Um, like I put financial stake into the game, you know, and it's, it's a fun game. I think it's really cool. And it was really cool to be a part of the development in a very small capacity. Um, basically, I just brought attention to it. And yeah, this game is really cool. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Uh, let me know how you feel about it. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.